Okay, today we're going to be experimenting with acrylic inks with acrylic paint. So instead of regular acrylic paint pouring, we're going to be working with some acrylic ink pouring. So we have several colors here. We have fluorescent orange. This is from Abstract. We also have Abstract uh, Magenta and also Abstract Turquoise. Very pretty colors and then also I believe this one is Dylar and Brownie uh, Brownie's um, cyan process cyan so some really pretty inks that we're going to be working with and I'm also going to be working with just some very thin titanium white and we're just going to see how this works I'm going to start with actually putting some of my titanium white down so that I can play you could cover the whole board. This board, and this is a board, not a canvas, is gessoed. You can't really tell that it's gessoed because it is gessoed with clear gesso and you really should gesso and prime your boards and your canvases when working with ink so that it doesn't go through. Well, it's not gonna go through a board, but to gesso so that it doesn't go down through the wood in the case of the wood. So we're going to just put our white down and I can add more. And I am choosing to use syringes. Now this is pore medium. In this case, the pore medium is Floetrol and water. And this is with my ink, just with the ink. And that's with the pigment that you're gonna get in the magenta color. So I'm gonna use them in syringes. I don't like to use these for bottles because I don't like to keep them bottled. Uh, but I can use syringes and clean them very easily. So we can begin with this. You can see the difference between the acrylic ink and how it spreads and how acrylic paint spreads. It's just very different look. Okay. I am going to need more paint, more white paint. And I am just keeping this off camera, but I just have a bottle of white paint that is just titanium white that I keep mixed. And then I just add some extra water to thin it down just a little bit because it is very, needs to be pretty thin. And um, acrylic inks, just like acrylic paint, can take quite a bit of water. So, just gonna give this a little mix. Okay, so we're gonna use our white paint. I'm gonna add more white around the outside. And this is a little, maybe a little too thin. I'm going to just beef it up a little bit. I probably could even use this straight. Oh, look at the ink. The ink will follow, which is so cool. The ink will actually follow the white. It will flow. I could even put, if I want to, just this you can see is thicker. This is the consistency that you would use for pore painting and I choose to use a little bit thinner for this. So that's what it would look like straight from the bottle and that's why I'm thinning it out. And you can see how the inks run. They run very differently than pore paint runs. Okay, now we're going to add our turquoise. We can run our turquoise straight through. We can run it as a ribbon or as a figure eight. Just however we want to run it. That's what I like about the syringes. 
Now this is a pretty bold choice we're going to be doing here. I have a really pretty flower blooming right here, right now, this color. And I like it. There's lots of ways that you can label the layer these. This is just fun just to see how this is going to go. This is very bright and it looks like I'm going to need some more pink. You can draw. You can draw with these is what I love. Okay, very vibrant. And now you can pour them just like you pour other paints. You can move them around on your canvas. The difference with acrylics, inks versus acrylic paint is the vibrancy of the acrylic paint ink. Very, very vibrant. I am actually going to just make sure since I used some paint. There's not a lot of bubbling with this, so you don't have to worry too much about it. Cut a little spot there. I'm just gonna add a little bit of ink. I think I am going to stop right there. Pretty cool, and that's all there is to it. This is just super abstract. We're just seeing how these new inks are working. And it's really cool. It looks really interesting, and you can see the difference between this type of painting and the more opaque. This is gonna be very glass-like and pretty cool. Here's the final product. It is very shiny and with epoxy resin over the top, it will be shiny forever. Thanks for joining me. Bye.